In just a few days, Slovenians will head to the voting booth. And if opinion polls are anything to go by, the anti-immigrant Slovenian Democratic Party is expected to win. Led by former Prime Minister Janis Janša, the party says it will reject EU migrant quotas and increase spending on security. The party's hardline stance on immigration has struck a chord with many Slovenians. But even if it does secure the most votes, it seems unlikely it will have enough seats to form a government on its own. So who, if anyone, will join forces with the former Prime Minister? For more, here's Natalie Pohonen. In Slovenia's elections on Sunday, the spotlight will be on these three candidates running for Prime Minister. Miro Dura from the Modern Centre Party, who resigned as Premier in March. Marian Šarec, a former comedian turned politician from the centre-left party bearing his name, the list of Marian Šarec. And former PM Janez Janša of the centre-right Slovenian Democratic Party, who wants another turn at the helm. While Janša appears to be leading in the polls, it's not clear if the SDS will be able to persuade other parties to help it form a coalition government. Šarec, whose party is running second in those polls, has ruled out an alliance, partly because the SDS has been running an anti-immigrant campaign. During the 2015 refugee crisis, about 500,000 people crossed through Slovenia. Janša has been invoking that period to raise fears about a return of refugees and has promised to withdraw the country from the EU's migrant quota program. It's a message which has attracted support from Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. He addressed an SDS rally in May, telling the crowd, If Europe surrenders to mass population movement and immigration, our own continent will be lost. Tens of millions aim to travel from Africa to Europe, and we must understand that they will continue to come for as long as Europe fails to protect its borders. But in this nation of two million people, there are other pressing issues for voters like improving health care and raising wages. Public sector workers like these teachers joined strikes this year to demand pay increases. But will the hardline anti-migrant message be the topic that resonates most with Slovenians? Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers. Well, joining me now from Ljubljana is Novica Mikhailovic. He's the managing editor of Delo newspaper. Thanks for joining us, sir. This SDS, the anti-immigrant party, led by Janša, do you think they're going to win? Well, uh, obviously opinion polls so far have shown that uh, he's in a lead. But, uh, but our uh, experience with opinion polls uh, in previous elections and so on has shown that uh, they are not, they are not uh, very reliable. And, uh, and uh, uh, there are still a lot of voters, about 20%, uh, who still haven't decided who who are they going to vote for on Sunday. So there's still a lot of room uh, for uh, surprises. And I guess the only surprise uh, that we are going to have is uh, that we won't see any surprises. Hmm. But uh, generally, I believe Mr. Yansha's party is going to, to win, yes. So when we look at their appeal, was it all about immigration? Was it all about preventing hordes of people from passing through the country again? Uh, well, it wasn't all about uh, the immigration, but uh, in last weeks, most of the rhetoric was uh, anti-immigrant and uh, it was focused on, on that topic, yeah. Uh, but uh, this party in general seems to be the best prepared of all the parties. Uh, they started the campaign uh, their campaign, the earliest of uh, all of them. So um, uh, it's difficult to say that if they win, that they are going to win only because of their uh, uh, immigration, uh, their stance towards immigration. It's not going to be only that, but uh, 
they have a really strong uh, strong uh, position uh, on that and uh, i guess that's going to help them win mm -hmm. some votes in in part of the electoral body yes even if they come first no strong indications that anybody wants to work with them so is the new prime minister when this happens going to find it very difficult to form a government uh, so far it looks this way yeah it looks like uh, mr yansha is going to have a hard time forming a government if he wins but uh, you know how politicians are uh, not only in slovenia and in every, uh, in every uh, country uh, you cannot always trust that they are going to uh, do what they say they are going to do uh, yes, a lot of, uh, most of the parties have said that they're not going to join uh, forces with Mr. Jansha, but, uh, but uh, we will see after mm -hmm. the elections. I, I, believe, I believe he might have some trouble, yeah. A few weeks ago, the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban showed up and led a rally in support of the former Prime Minister and the SDS. Tell me what that means yeah. for Slovenia and for its place in Europe right now? Well, um, I'm afraid, but that's my opinion and uh, opinion of, let's say, center left uh, in the country, that that, uh, that that is going to change the course of the country towards uh, the joining the so-called uh, Visegrad group uh, countries uh, who are not uh, really willing to accept immigrants and so on. Uh, but as I already said, uh, we don't know yet if he's going to be able to form the government uh, with, his, uh, with his victory on Sunday if he manages it. Novica Mikhailovic, I thank you very much for joining us here on the Newsmakers.